Hey there, Pots, it's Jerry, so welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the troubled waters of Sea of Thieves on PS5. It's been a wild ride since its launch in May, but unfortunately, it seems like the tides have turned. Let's break down what's been happening. But before we do so, don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button for more content. And now, without any further ado, let's get into it. When Sea of Thieves finally made its way to PS5 in April, more than 3 million players jumped on board, eager to set sail and explore Rare's expensive pirate adventure. But now, just less than 2 months later, the number of active players have plummeted. According to reports from True Trophies, almost 60% of those players have abandoned ship. That's right, more than half of the player base has left the game and there is no sign of the numbers improving anytime soon. So what happened? Why did Sea of Thieves, which had such a strong start, lose so many players so quickly? It's a trend I've been seeing that a lot of live service games over the past year apply the sun and down like a pancake. Let's dive a bit deeper into this. First, let's talk about the initial hype. Sea of Thieves has always had a dedicated fanbase on Xbox and PC, and the PS5 launch brought a whole new wave of players into the mix. The game offers an open world pirate adventure with stunning graphics, a lot of content, and a vast ocean to explore. So what went wrong? Initially, players were drawn in by the promise of treasure hunts, ship battles, and the thrill of pirate life. The game's social aspect, allowing you to team up with friends and other players, was a big selling point. But as time went on, some cracks started to show. One of the main issues with live service games like Sea of Thieves is maintaining player engagement. While the game offers a lot of fun and excitement at first, the content can start to feel repetitive. Players may feel like they're doing the same activities over and over again without much variation. The grind can become tedious, and without frequent and substantial content updates, players might lose interest. Rare had done a great job with seasonal updates and events, but it seems like it wasn't enough to keep the PS5 player base hooked. Another factor could be competition. The gaming world is constantly evolving, with new titles coming out all the time. Players have so many options, and it's easy for a game to get overshadowed by the next big thing. For instance, if a new blockbuster game releases, it can draw players away from games like Sea of Thieves. In past years alone, we've seen major releases like Elden Ring, Horizon Forbidden West and many others. With such high-quality games vying for attention, it's no surprise that some players might jump ship. And then there's the question of content diversity. While Sea of Thieves has a lot to offer, some players may feel that it lacks depth in certain areas. The core gameplay loop of sailing, looting and fighting can only stay fresh for so long without new and exciting additions. Players crave new challenges, new stories and new mechanics. When these aren't delivered consistently, it can lead to a drop in player retention. The gaming community is always hungry for innovation and fresh experiences. But let's not forget about the positives. Sea of Thieves still has a strong and dedicated community. The game offers a unique blend of cooperative and competitive gameplay, and for those who love the pirate theme, it remains a go-to adventure. Rare has also been known to listen to its community, implementing changes and improvements based on player feedback. This kind of developer-player relationship is crucial for the longevity of any live service game. So what can Sea of Thieves do to turn the tide and win back its lost players? Here are a few ideas. First, more frequent and substantial content updates. Introducing new quest lines, enemies, and locations can keep the game feeling fresh. Second, enhancing the end game content. Giving veteran players more challenging and rewarding activities could keep them engaged for longer. Third, cross platform events. Hosting large scale events that bring the entire community together, regardless of platform, could boost player numbers and engagement. Ultimately, the success of a live service game depends on its ability to evolve and adapt. Sea of Thieves has a solid foundation, and with the right changes, it could sail back into the heart of its players. But what about you? Have you stuck with Sea of Thieves, or have you moved on to other adventures? Let me know in the comments below why you think players are so quick to abandon live service titles. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with all my latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the channel.